my name is Tim Benix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. In this short tutorial, we'll go over how to use Pinya, the state management tool of Vue and Nuxt. We'll do the installation, adding a few easy tips and tricks to make working with it better. Plus, we'll go over all the basic features to just show you how you can get started. All right, let's do this. This is a completely clean Nux 3 installed, but I've added the Nux Pinya module. And so when you install this module, there's a few little things that you can do to Nux to make working with Pinya a lot easier, especially something like this. So there's an auto import property in the Nux Pinya module that allows you to automatically import the define store and a few other fu functions you might need throughout your Nux app. So you can always use them without having to import, very handy. In a similar vein, you can actually add the stores directory to the imports of Nuxt 3. This is the same as like when you put anything in composables, your composable just works, it's automatically imported. Well, I've done the same with the stores folder and in which I have a bunch of store files for Pinya and they just work everywhere in Nuxt now. And so that just helps us a whole bunch um, when working with this tool. And then lastly, when we look at the store itself, we'll have a look at what the store is in a second. Second, I've added these few lines. And so this allows Vite, the, the engine that runs the whole thing, to understand that if you change anything in your store file, that it needs to run a hot module reload. And so whatever changes here, updates on the screen directly, no refresh needed. Really handy stuff. All right, so let's go over the store that I've created. And I've kept it very simple because this is a basic tutorial to just get you going. And so um, I've used the name Use Friends Store. I love the TV show Friends. Um, if you don't know it or you're too young, go to Netflix and check it out. It's really fun. And so um, I've added the state here. And so the, the, the heart of a state management tool like Pinya, of course, is the state. This is where everything happens. And so the basics of the data that we're dealing with are in the state. And in this case, these are the characters. We have Rachel and Ross breaking up, iconic scene. And so you can do an action from elsewhere to update whatever happens in this state. Or you can do a getter to get anything from that state, specifically if you want to like have to find a name and then based on that get back, let's say, the line that they're saying. Because if it's literally just one item that you're getting from the state, you can do that directly. You can access the state from your code and just get it. But if you have to find something or manipulate something to get the data, you use a getter. That's what we're doing here. All right, so how is all this actually working in the browser? Well, first of all, I made a little component called lines.view because we're speaking lines, right? We're characters. And so I've actually done use friends store because of the setup we did in the Nuxt module, we can actually just use this and it just works. And so I'm grabbing the characters from that store through the stores to ref um, function. And that is a very handy helper function that whatever you grab from the state, it makes it into a ref in view. So it's reactive. So if the state now changes, it directly updates in the browser. And so we're grabbing the characters from the state and just putting it in a pre tag so you can see that. And let me just refresh this. Okay, here we go. So it's back to the original state. So we have, Reg, um, we have Rachel and Ross. Anyways, now we have things like actions and getters. And so let's first add an action to be able to add something to the state. And so if you have oh, the keen eyed among you have seen, I have a add character function. So it adds a name and a line that the, the character is saying. So it's literally just grabbing the character state and pushing a new object in it. And so um, let's add that to our code. So first of all, we need a function to be able to add something to the state. And in this case, it's, we're going to add Joey because he's also yet another iconic um, character from the show. And of course, we need a button to be able to do that. So let's put that here. And so now when we click this button, it adds Joey with the name and his line. Well, you see, because of the auto um, HMR and all the fun stuff that we added on the in the intro here, this just auto updated. And so let me just click Joey and suddenly the state is updated and now we have Joey here. And that just worked really, really simply. And so what we can do now is also use the getter to get some specific information out. And so what we can do is 
potentially only get um, Rachel's line. So let's just add an, our getter because that's like our get line by name function. We have a look here, get line by name. So I'm just searching for the name inside the characters, right? And when the character name that it's searching in has the name that I'm giving the function, it returns the line. In real life, you might be a little bit more defensive with this code, but this is for an example. And so when we actually want to see Rachel here, um, let's just go here, line. Now we should just see Rachel's line, and there we go. So we can also go for just Ross's line, and there we go. That's all I wanted to show you about Pinya. Feel free to add any questions in the comments, and happy coding. Cheers. Cheers.